What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to King Drew. What? <laughs> what? Just kidding. Get out of here. Oh. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another King James video. That now, folks, today we are at UC Berkeley, and we got a fun little challenge for you. Drew is going to be shooting the Nikon F3 with a 35mm 2.8 lens, and I... Ow. I'm gonna be shooting this beast right here. This right here, you guys, is the $5 plastic beast of a camera. It's the Vivitar LA Brights, and it looks like a pink Barbie camera. I mean, it's a plastic lens, it's focus-free, and it's 100% goodness. So the $5 plastic camera versus the $350 plus $200 lens beast of a camera. We're also gonna be using a special film. This folks right here, is Lomography Earl Grey black and white film. And this is in the 100 speed. So we're gonna go ahead and load this up and show you guys the results we <laughs> achieve. And yeah, let's see how these two compare. Let's get it. Alright guys, so we just finished up in Berkeley, but really quick, we're going to go ahead and teleport to SF. Drew, so far, how do you feel about the F3? It is cool. Just cool? You don't like it? No, it's cool. Is it smooth? Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah. Alright, you ready to go take some more photos? <laughs> Let's go.
Alright guys, now I want to go ahead and conclude this video with my final thoughts on what I think between the Nikon F3, the $500 film camera, opposed to the $5 point and shoot plastic camera. Now, first of all, I want to say I was extremely surprised by how this thing performs. Now on the front here, you guys can see it says Vivitar and it says LA Brights. LA Brits, I don't know what that means, but it's focus free. The focal length seems to be between 28 mm to 35 mm. It has a built in flash as well that uh, it's powered by two AA batteries. And on the front here, it says Vivitar and LA Bright. You also have the rewinding lever up here and as well as the film advance. And the film advance is just like any other disposable camera. You wind it and you shoot it. Now folks, the thing that surprised me most about this camera opposed to the F3 is that just the consideration of that, this thing is completely plastic. This thing literally feels like it's nothing. There's like, it's, it's really, really light. Um, and you know, the results that you can actually get from these cameras is really, really, really interesting compared to something like this. Folks, this is the Nikon F3, like I mentioned earlier. This at one point was Nikon's professional SLR, their flagship model. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, just think of it. It's kind of like comparing nowadays a Sony a7 III compared to you know, like a Vivitar pony shoot from Walmart. That's kind of the comparison that, you know, it's to put it in perspective in today's digital world that we're doing here. The crazy thing to me is the price gap. This was cost like 500 bucks. This cost, you know, a little under five bucks at a thrift store. When you look at the center sharpness of the images coming from the pink camera, you guys can see it's surprisingly sharp in the center. And when you move out to the outsides of the frame, of course, you're gonna go ahead and see, you know, softness and some blur. Opposed to the Nikon F3, of course, you're gonna be dead center sharp in the middle, but as you move out towards the edges, you're gonna notice that it's a little bit more sharp, definitely sharper than the pink plastic toy camera. Now, when it comes down to making images, folks, does it really matter which one you shoot with? In my opinion, it really doesn't. At the end of the day, folks, it's about how an image makes you feel rather than what you shot with or the technical aspects of a photo. Somebody is not gonna, you know, judge a photo in MoMA by saying, wow, this, this photo looks like it was shot on a toaster <laughs> or something like this camera right here. People aren't gonna say that. You know, pictures are in museums and pictures are recognized because they make the person viewing the photo feel a certain way, feel an emotion. And essentially, that's what a good photo will do. So. If at the end of the day, I go out there and I have no photography skills shooting with an F3, I'm, I might make good images, but if I go out there with this camera and I have a, like, a ton of knowledge shooting with a $5 plastic point and shoot, I guarantee you I will make better images out of this than I will out of this. So folks, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what camera you use. Now, with that being said, like I said, I'm extremely surprised about the Vivitar camera. The F3 I know performs well, but man, this thing is insanely, insanely good for what it is, man. I'm honestly really surprised. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about the comparisons between the two cameras. Honestly, I feel like this camera, for it being you know under five bucks, had to be one of the greatest thrift store purchases I've ever made, honestly. And you know, there's always cameras like this at the thrift stores that people just throw out that they don't want and use. So I highly recommend, you know, when you see a camera like this, please don't overlook it, give it a shot, because you will be surprised at the images that this thing can make you. It might not make you the sharpest images all around, but they're usable, man. They are extremely usable. Just look at the pictures back in there. And also, before we go, I want to say thank you to Bridget from Lamography for sending over that Earl Grey 100 speed film. You know, I really enjoyed it and Drew enjoyed it as well. And we're going to be doing a lot of Lamography film reviews in the future, folks. So if you guys want to go ahead and see that, subscribe down below. Also, at the end of the day, comment again which one you guys think did better or just your final thoughts on what you think between the comparison between the two. So that's going to wrap it up, you guys. You guys always know we ended on a bang. So thank you for watching yet another King Jace video. And as always, yeah, Minota gang. The mic for ligaments while I reckon. Same time came out the wound while recording. All I ever did was make jokes out of suckers. Yeah. Told them about the life that I live, mad ruckus. But if you never seen a grown man rock jewelry like me, jealous of becoming over you, then you bite me. All these other people, they be cool and just like me. Talking about the homies, and I usually.